Do you know why I do the Atheism is Unstoppable videos? It's because Mr. Tracy declares himself the ambassador of the white race. And I believe my videos offer a counterbalance as a representative of the bleep community. But the deal is, is that I recognize I don't represent all bleeps. In fact, the only bleeps that I represent are American bleeps. And by American bleeps, those who are the descendants of, you know, those ass whoopings that everybody and their mother is trying to, to get some credit for. So when I see people such as the man on the screen, Roland Martin, you know, hop up and start screaming about how he wants to be the representative voice of, you know, bleep nation. It's like, bro, once again, 2016 really just put everybody on blast. Every, everybody's true colors were shown whether they realize it or not. And so what we're going to do is we're going to break down this video of Roland Martin. Ugh, golly, this is the rotant. Like, he's rotant, man. <laughs> like, there's, there's really no other word I have to describe this man other than rotant. Let's con let, let's listen. You and I bring the Funk Fan Club. Look, if you got five, ten bucks, twenty bucks, we want to we actually want you to give fifty bucks. Begging, begging, begging for money, cause that's the thing. It's his hustle. This is racism thing. Like it, it, they made race an industry. And it's so damn infuriating because while you're sitting here begging for money, there are people out there who need people actually fighting for them and actually demanding that real things happen, i.e. The, the end of the drug war. I'm never getting off of that until it's done. But it's just he like he's one of an endless supply of people who were born and darker skin and bless this hell for it because they get to make tons of cash just exploiting the shit out of his out of the history that honestly i'm pretty sure nobody did a lineage check on this motherfucker this is one time for the whole year the 20,000 people total 20,000 people we got about 3,000 3,400 people in our bring the funk fan club if 20,000 of our followers give yeah, 50 bucks each we're completely funded for the next year don't See, we like 20 seconds in and he's sitting here still asking just for straight cash. You know, like, come on, bro. Like, we have to have another ad, anything like that. That's what we have to do because trust me, we going to need our own voice in 2020. And all the rest of these people out here. Who the fuck is we? That's, I, I guess it's like your quote unquote fans. But who? I mean, really, who is a fan of this man? If you are, that's why I have a comment section. I really like who is sitting here backing you? And I really want bleeps to, to answer. If you are, you know, of Mr. Tracy's uh, persuasion, no, 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 no. I want the bleeps to answer this. Who is back in Roland Martin to whereas, like, yo, like, like they really want this, like, this, this phony as shit dude really representing, you know, we, us, and all this other nonsense. Because, you know, he's talking about blackness. He's talking about all that wokey woke nonsense. But the deal is that, yo, subsections, my guy subsections we are all not the same we are all not of equal yoke dead this bullshit how i'm talking about they new black media no they not uh, yeah i said it and i'm your damn y'all tweet them they ain't new black media they ain't new black media uh-uh because guess what the white folks that's that got me's goings uh-uh my master told me he's the one i was the ones that he's going to make shows that gets all the people's and all the monies that's right this boy though so, these new folks out here these chronicles judas and these uh uh, uh, uh amazing they lucas's and uh, the, all these other folks oh my goodness no uh-uh they, they uh-uh my son like them my son like them at all no 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 because guess what they're not on five days a week. They're not having actual guests on. All they're doing is talking about what somebody else is doing. They're not. See, here's the thing. Um, you don't need all that. Let's be real. Let's keep it a buck. Let's be real. You don't need all that. I and I'm. What do you mean? Not on five days a week. I'm on. I'm. I've been suspended from YouTube. But if you check the channel, I've been rocking this shit. And I'm not saying here calling myself new black media by any stretch of the imagination because it's something I really don't want. I do this because I'm trying to make sense. Of the nonsense going on out here but what we're watching right here right now is this old passes prom reverend uh rollo looking ass motherfucker 
<laughs> like, <laughs> like trying to degrade and belittle the same people who, you know, he'd been lying to. I mean, the reason that there are so many new names that have been popping up, so many of so many folks out here, the Tommy Sotomayors and like all these different people trying to pop up and make their way, particularly on the YouTube platform, is because folks like you are a failure. You failed. It's been a failure. It's been a failure for a long time. And making money off of the history and off of the struggle and off of, off of all things that are encompassed in blackness but actually only go towards a very small amount of the population. Like, I mean, real talk, the, the, the ass whoopings that was taken is only really a part of a very small portion of the population. But here you is with your bullshit like, oh, yeah, well, these new folks, man, they ain't sitting here talking to guests. I, yeah, I don't have guests on my channel, but that's because this isn't my guest. Like, yo, I'm talking to y'all. Y'all my audience. My audience is my guest. Y'all know I'm always in my comments. But either ways, man, like, it's just the arrogance in which she approaches all of this is, yeah, I said it. Like, bro, like, if for real, like, honestly, back in the, like, 90s, Jay would have been like, everybody can't eat, you know, but... In 2000, 2019, going on to 2020, J, seeing everybody in 2016 really show that they are just sellout pieces of shit, yourself included. Bruh, like, that's how, the, that's the only reason why new black media is uh, getting on. Because guess what? Everybody showed they fucking colors and they like to pretend like they didn't, you phony piece of shit. Traveling around the country, interviewing people, they're doing none of that. See, trust me, like Charlie Wilson say, remember Charlie Wilson, Uncle Charlie said, I'm old school and new school. Charlie fucking Wilson, nigga, these kids need, these kids, parents need jobs to rise, they can eat, man. We ain't gotta have all these damn snoop, like, you sitting there, like, yo, they, 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 what they're doing with the food stamps thing, right, is they're basically closing the loophole so you can't get, um, two of the programs at the same time. Deal is, is that. Our entire welfare state is supposed to be something that's temporary, but we have generations of people of all different colors. Let's, hmm, all different colors. Really bullshit in the system, and it's overburdened it. And there's a, and now you know you got him trying to, um, you trying to got him trying to cut some of the fat. But here he is talking about it's just, just bullshit, just straight up bullshit. I'm old school and new school. So when Travis Smart say I'm old media. Yeah, nigga, you super old media. Like so to a point where old media don't even fuck with you no more. I mean, you out here in the in the net streets with the rest of us trying to get on, but the difference is I've never asked and will never ask for it. Well, we'll see where the money thing comes in. But the deal is, is that <laughs> But the deal is, is that it's not like, yo, like, bruh, never like this. Never like, oh man, just give me all this money, give me all this money for what? For what? You ain't the voice that you think you is, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm old black media, but I'm also new black media. Yeah, because that makes sense. This is bitch think if I've ever seen it in life, bro. This Uncle Carl looking motherfucker. This is bitch think if I've ever seen it. Like, seriously. And he really proud of himself. I'm old media and I'm new media. It's like, yo, it's like really like your aunt. Like, like, like your, your 50 year old aunt who's like, yeah, she, she looking, she, she, she trying to get it back on with like some young dudes and stuff like that. Thinking she going to have some kind of relationship with them when she ain't nothing but a pin cushion. That's all you is, man. Man, it's sad. It really is. Because we understand how all of this works. Really? Do you? Because I sincerely doubt that you can fucking explain it. Right now, you talking about like the internet, or are you talking about just in general, like life, my nigga? Like, cause I don't know, you sitting here at this at this point in your career, like we've already seen the videos of you begging to get put on with all these different networks and stuff like that. But here you are, like just trying to dismiss, you know, the next generation that's that's coming up after you blew your chance. Because guess what, you phony as hell. Everybody blew their chance in 2016. Most of them. And I'm like, you know, folks are really waking up, particularly because of a lot of because the economy is basically doing I right. eh, it's bullshit. I challenge anybody out there who call themselves new black media. Put your show up against this one and let's see who's actually informing the people. Do I have a show? I don't think it's a show. I don't consider this a show. I just consider this, you know, like little mini little mini podcast of me breaking shit down that needs to be you know saying examined from 
my point of view or something that I could get some material out of. And this is clearly the end of his video, but it's not the end of mine. Because the deal is, guys, is that this... <laughs> this is what he looked like, Uncle Carl, yo. <laughs> he really looks like Uncle Carl. Like, yo, this guy, he's a part of that whole... Uh, you know, how do I put it? Like he's a part of that. He he's he's a hanger on of the entertainment industry. You know, like that that men, that that very feminine, that very bitch think mindset, and you can see it all in his mannerisms and the like. So as far as Roland Martin, bro, you are no one to be taken seriously. And I've done uh, I did a video like this before that didn't get a lot of views, but I just feel the need to say it because Jesus, this guy sucks. He really does. And I, like, as far as representation goes, people who feel like they can be a voice for you know the sentence and like I'm, I, all I do is reply to AIU, but this this can't be it. I don't want to be. See, that's the thing. I don't want to be the voice. I just want to be able to point and be like, all right, cool. That's a person I trust. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, like, mm, don't trust me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but trust that I ain't gonna tell you no bullshit. I I ain't gonna lead you wrong. You know. Either ways, man, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end All the internet stuff. If you like to toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice. You might give videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch shooting like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for obvious reasons. Um, just bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know. What do you think in the comments? Like, if, yeah, like this is like really like this is just embarrassing, man. Like, seriously, you should be in somebody's church. Like, I mean, for real, I have no respect for Roland Martin, particularly at watching him shuck and jive for Masso on screen the same way. I have no real, like, I have no professional respect for Roland Martin nor Charlemagne the God. I mean, I, as far as individuals go, I'm sure they're nice guys. If we, if we sat down, we talked, we'd probably be able to kick it, like, real easy, like, because, you know, I'm just a smooth cat like that. But <laughs> as far as professionally, as far as, far as Oh, yeah, we can be able to, like, you know what I'm saying, rock with these folks' words. Man, like, they have already proven they're nothing but corporate puppets. So why should we even bother? But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until the next one.